Welcome to part 2 of building a Pokemon card in React Native. In part 1, we set up our container with a background color, used safe area view for iOS, and added top padding for Android using the platform module. In this video, our focus shifts towards styling our card component. Continuing from where we left off, let's move on to step 6. In PokemonCard.js, Import the stylesheet API from React Native. Invoke the create method, passing in an empty object, and assign the return value to a constant called styles. Step 7 Within the styles object, create a new key called card and apply the style to the view component. Step 8 Define the styles for the card. We're going to start with a background color of white, border radius 16, border width 2, padding set to 16 to create spacing within the card, and margin set to 16 for spacing between the cards. For the card shadow effect, we rely on the platform module. First, import it at the top of the file. Then, spread platform.select within the card styles. Specify the shadow properties for both iOS and Android. For iOS, we define various shadow properties like shadow offset, shadow color, opacity, and radius. While for Android, we set the elevation property for a shadow effect. And that is pretty much it. If we take a look at our UI, the card component should now be visually appealing. All right, let's pause here as this serves as a good checkpoint. Join me in part three, where we will dive into rendering the card contents.